better in their eyes. So, if you have any questions, um, I'll do a shout out for you. Welcome. Your ship is... <laughs> we have nothing like it. Wait till you see the inside. <laughs> it gets better. Oh, yeah. You ready to go? I'll introduce you to the rest of my crew. He's all ready to go. <laughs> He's also going to be the romance option for my game. I'm just saying, as far as first contact goes, at least that went better than the last one. Only slightly. Yeah, what happened? Slightly is better than nothing. And now we have another mouth to feed, whatever he is. <laughs> Did the translators not work? They work. I know we're improvising as we go, but let's remember that there is Pathfinder team protocol. Don't think I got that handbook. Ryder, we followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have that. Jal has offered to do what he can to help us access the vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet it's on? That's... a fair point. Jal, seriously. Settle down. Ryder's right. There's an Angara right here. Let's hear from them, you gut. Hmm. One day, about 80 years ago, the Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight Ket all day long, but that's no plan. <laughs> I agree. We need to get into that vault, Ryder. Surprisingly, I'm with PV. Our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. Pretty solid. Joel? The resistance is stretched thin. I was tasked with traveling to two of our worlds at our briefing this morning. And you'll accompany me. Because? Because then, Ephra will see you as trustworthy. Hmm. You want that. Jal's told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Bold. A shining center of technology and life. And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our resistance base is fighting Ket command for control of the planet. What about the other? Havarl is the birthplace of the Angara. It's started to degrade to become wild and dangerous we suspect remnant now we're talking we've recently lost contact with our scientists still don't get how any of this helps us i do help us or rather help me and i'll vouch for you right because jaw wants inside Aya's vault too pathfinder it's your call Okay, yes. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Maybe more like optimism. Confidence? You'll get there. Jal, give Kala the nav points for both planets. <clears throat> Let's do this. Oh, that cat. Strike team ready for deployment. Still compiling my first impressions. But even their body language is so emotional. I can't wait for my first session with Jar. Why don't you scare him away, huh?
No. Why only thirty eight chance? Six percent chance. Oh. Let's see if that works this time. One hell of a trip this is turning out to be. Hostiles, ruined worlds, no home in sight. Everyone's getting toasty. There was a two hour argument yesterday and no one even knew how it started. <laughs> That's not good. Luckily, I have the perfect way for people to unwind. Movie night. Taking a breather for a good movie? I could get behind that. Best part is, it doesn't need to be good. Still get mileage out of the bad ones. <laughs> it's worth it to jumpstart everyone's pioneer spirit and all that. The Tempest database is pretty dry. Could you download a movie library from Nexus Ops to see what I've got to work with? If I have time. Thanks. Everyone will appreciate it. I love a good movie night. Tell me your favourite movie, guys. So we have a stowaway. You mean PB? She's decided to set up in one of the escape pods. <coughs> you don't need a psychologist to tell you that one's got commitment issues. How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. Why do you sort them that way? Just easier for me to see patterns in behavior. How do you think the human crew members are handling things? There's a lot of them. How's Cora doing? She's processing. Your father was her mentor. She expected to follow in his footsteps, but he gave the role of Pathfinder to you. Just because she trusts his judgment doesn't mean she's not confused. Or hurt and tackle emotions head on. Mm. Suvi okay? Suvi's strong sense of faith keeps her grounded. I'm not spiritual, but there's a beauty in how her mind rationalizes religion and science. How's Liam? A handful. Every time I patch him up, he breaks something new. <laughs> Liam's we can't lose attitude is commendable. But I worry how he'll react when something does go wrong. I'd like to check in on the non-human crew. Ask away. Is PB all right? She's avoiding me. Probably thinks I'll poke her with a needle if she gets too close. <laughs> to be fair, you're always giving me shots. Not in the hallway. Is Jal doing okay? He's adjusting. The rest of us have at least some understanding of each other's cultures. But to Jal, we're all outsiders. It's a lot to take in. I'd say he's doing pretty well. <laughs> Is Drak good? That old bastard's always good. <laughs> there anyone who can be so stubborn and so appreciative. Could you look out for him, Ryder? Don't worry, Lexi. I'll keep an eye on him. Thank you. And maybe don't mention I asked. Tell me about Vetra. Vetra's used to having someone depend on her. I think that's why she's so resourceful and likes providing for other people. That being said, I think she could use a little me time. How's our Solarian? He's quite the gossip. Tight-lipped about himself, though. Thanks for the insight. How long have you and Harry been friends? I remember when he didn't complain about arthritis. We met at a medical convention on the Citadel. He was moderating a panel on neurosurgery in low-gravity environments. His name card was crooked, but he was so damn confident I knew we'd be friends. So how did Nasari doctor end up on the human arc? Specialist in alien anatomy, remember? <laughs> that includes humans. 
Also, Harry insisted. Maybe he always intended to switch jobs. How did he get into medicine? My mom was a dancer on Omega. Dad was a bouncer. I'd patch him up after busy nights. Discovered I had steady hands. They put every credit they earned into my education. Are they here in Helios? No. Both died in a turf war. Made leaving the Milky Way behind easier. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. So you've set up in here, huh? Yeah, I'm still going through what we got out of the EO's vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. This is a nice, out-of-the-way place where I can tinker, and I can sleep in. Where the hell are you? It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home while I'm with you, at least. Should I consider you a temporary addition? Everything's temporary, Ryder. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so and there we go. You figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana to simple but loving parents, just trying to... I look forward, not back, Ryder. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm here. Got tired of yawning back home. You loved everything and everyone you knew because you were bored? <clears throat> I came with someone I knew. Then she got bored with me. <laughs> Ryder, the Milky Way was so... Been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown. For the never been done. Well, congratulate yourself. No one has ever so successfully dodged my attempts to get to know them. Yes! I'm number one! Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. Then again... I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned. Which you're gonna love, by the by. Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. Remtech, huh? You got it. Okay. Usually check on the crew anyway, so I'll just check on Joel, see how he's doing. Then we'll get started. So, Joel. <clears throat> so. We haven't had a chance to talk alone. You comfortable in here? I took it. It feels strange to stay with the others. They are, you are. Aliens. And you're alien to us, so there, we have something in common. Uh, we can look at it as a place to start. Got it. Perhaps then, if we're all aliens, it's about what kind of alien we are. You had no idea about us, but you signed up to help us anyway. Perhaps it had nothing to do with you. Care to elaborate? I do not. How do you know Moshe Sefa? She's our greatest mind on the Remnant. I was his student. You studied the Remnant too? <laughs> A little bit. I was terrible. I quit. Or she threw me out. One of those. We're still very close. So, is that your rifle? It is now. <laughs> it's kept. With my own modifications. I like to tinker, to 
Get my hands on something and take it apart. That's a skill I know we can use. But I have one request. Please don't take apart my ship. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I signed up. Uh, volunteered for this. It's uh, exciting. There's something unique about you. Uneasy, raw, but somehow profound. Face value? That sounds like a compliment. A nice one. It is. Angara feel deeply. We have <laughs> more trouble hiding our emotions than showing them. I should get back to my work. When we have downtime, I'd love to watch you work. Sure. I could show everyone. Um, <clears throat> no. Just us. So we can get to know each other better, or just share a hobby. Oh. Mm, of course. Good. Good. Now let's get to Haval. Haval holds the secret. I'm picking up something. Supply probes. After scanning this place. Fire. Supply probes. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. about that vault. That's my cat sneezing, by the way. If you heard that.
Okie dokie, let's go. Do you guys have any pets? That's cool. Get this right first. There we go. <coughs> now we're ready. Sending the nav point for Dar Palem. That's where the Moshe's team should be. It used to be an Angaran town. There'll be landing pads and good sight lines for a safe approach. Anomaly on the sensors. Something big. Possibly hostile. Taking evasive action. Okay. Wait. I don't think his... What are they? You don't see back home. I what that's Bringing us in. Let's get this sorted. I 
apologize for that. I just cancelled my own uh, party, so never mind. I thought I was beautiful. This blows it away. It is beautiful, but. The wilds can also be deadly. But they can. I can still hear the microphone. <laughs> None of these readings show any change. How could there not be a change? Jar, what are you doing here in the company of these? people. Kieran, this is Pathfinder Ryder from a long way away. <laughs> Ryder, Kieran Dowles, lead scientist at Dar Palev. I am honored to meet you as a representative of the Andromeda Initiative. Are all their people this formal? <sighs> I don't think so. Where's the rest <laughs> of the team? Ryder has experience with Remnant. We might be able to help their investigations. You haven't heard? While the team was exploring the monolith, something went terribly wrong. They were caught in some kind of remnant stasis field, frozen in place, unresponsive. I know how to work remnant tech. I can help you. Ryder has seen a vault and apparently reset it. Somehow. Ocean of fish, one will have gems in its mouth. But if you think the alien can help, I set <laughs> skepticism aside. The monolith is not far from here. See what you can do, but be careful. We don't know what triggered the stasis, and it may happen again. I heard the advisory that you'd be out here. You didn't prepare me to meet you. The name's Ryder. I'm with the Andromeda Initiative. They say you want to help us. I wonder what you're prepared to do. I'm ready to prove my people are good allies. A strong statement that doesn't answer my question. My name is Rochelle Veer. I'm an archaeastronomer. I study our ancient cultural records for stellar phenomena. I piece together lost knowledge of ages past. My goal is to find undiscovered colonies we lost contact with, potential allies against the Ket. You think there might be Angara worlds you don't know about? That's what I was trying to learn. Then this happened. I was away when the disaster struck. I thought my home was destroyed, and all my research with it, but I just learned part of the building survived. I'm trying to recover my research data, but the wildlife won't let me near my old home. Feeding ground for insects and predators, too many to face alone. Your work is too important to lose. Let's get it back. I'll provide my home's location. Just recover my research materials from the computer. I'll remain in contact with you by com. Thank you for this. Solar heater. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's one there going right past it. Activating automated forward station deployment.
2% viability. <laughs> Stay here, visitor. It's not safe, and I can't be responsible for you. You should have warned me you were coming. What are you doing here? Making sure the fires don't get worse. I'm a surveyor, an engineer from the station. I need to divert fuel from the pipes buried here. I'll cut off the flames eventually. What caused these fires? Is there an emergency? This is Dar used to be a much larger settlement. Wildlife overtook it. Destroyed above and below. Cloud roots ruptured an underground fuel pipeline. A stray spark lit these fires. I'll get going. Be careful. You too, Ashari. <sighs> that went well. <laughs> you can tell the nervous around me. Watch out for Roka. Garen fanatics that hate aliens. That means you. Charming. needed bad idea to hide there and I died let's try again around the native flora. Okay, everyone? If you get any fungal slime on your skin, I suggest you wash it off immediately. Thank you for heads of dog. Okay, that worked.
them. The researchers caught in the stasis field. Exactly where Kieran said they would be. Ran it over to the wall. I detect no additional glyphs in the area. Okay. You're right. Yes. Reading of the monitors and... Scott! Scotting stars! What? Who are you? How did... Pathfinder Rider with the Andromeda Initiative. I'm... from another galaxy. Take a moment. Find your bearings. More aliens? Out of nowhere? And Jal? Do none of you remember getting frozen? <laughs> frozen? I don't understand. We were just working on the monolith, and then... And then you appeared. You should return to Palev. Kieran will want to speak to you. Maybe you're right. Oh, I feel a head splitter coming on. <laughs> we should make sure they return to the station. Who knows what lingering effects they might suffer from. Sam helps with analysis and translation, among other things. It's... complicated. This side.
Oop, we go. I don't know what caused that fire, but let's be careful. You don't feel any different? I don't think so. Why? Do you? My mind feels clouded, but I don't know if I'm just tired. What do you mean, gray spiky aliens? Can't? No. These were different. We were doing a survey of the area and saw them before the freeze. Hmm. They look like that one, with Ryder. Terrians? Why don't you and Torvar talk about that later? Right now, I want to thank you for saving my team. <laughs> like that you one. You weren't lying. Kira told us everything. She even had pictures. I apologize for the indifferent welcome you received from me earlier. Don't worry about it. You had no reason to trust me. The last aliens you met were Ket. Ryder, what you have done here, your remnant understanding and your Sam should convince Ephra. You're an asset. We should speak to him as soon as we can. Perhaps on the Tempest? Here and I've been thinking. If Ryder can use Remnant, couldn't we fix the monoliths? Stop Haval's decline. Haval's decline? This will take time to explain. We can discuss it further when you have time. <clears throat> and don't forget to talk to Torvar about those. What did you call them? Chirians? <laughs> Kieran wants to talk more about Haval's decline. We should discuss it when you have time. You said you saw Turians in the jungle? Is that what they're called? We didn't know. We just kept out of sight. They crashed here, I think. Were they alright? Or are they still alive? Still alive? I don't know. We were stuck in that stasis field for a while. I guess they could still be out there. Unless they tried to eat something. Or the Roka got them. I'll give you the nav point and you can go see for yourself. We can speak more later. I'll be here. You were saying something about the planet being in decline? It doesn't look like it, but Havaral is sick. It started here, uncontrolled mutations in organic life. Killing some, turning others into poison. We're starting to see the same elsewhere. The planet's ecosystem is crumbling, slowly but surely. It's the monoliths. There are only two of them when there should be three. There's so much life here. Your vault must be working. In some fashion, most likely. But the monoliths are responsible for propagating the vault's instructions across the planet. With only two out of three monoliths working, the instructions are imbalanced. So life is imbalanced. We've never tried asking the sages. It could be something in their oral history. Stars, those superstitious hermits don't care about modern Angara. You know that. You saw the projections for the planet's survival. What do we have to lose? Sages? Oral histories? On Mithrather, that old remnant edifice over there. They trace their families back for a time just after the scourge. They believe isolation will maintain the purity of the histories by preventing contamination by modern thought basic sense. They probably don't even understand or care that Havaral's dying. If asking your sages doesn't work, we'll be back here. So, what's the harm in it? The trek up Mithrather's teeming with Remnant. Most of us don't attempt it, but maybe you could do it. Follow the Remnant River and keep your head. I'd hate to hear something terrible happened in pursuit of some ancient legend. Good to see you again, Pathfinder. 
Before you got caught in that stasis field, Kieran says you were studying the monolith. What did you learn? There's a vault here. When the scourge hit, <clears> it <throat> took down some functionality. It's still working to some extent, but with only two out of three monoliths, the system is off balance. And you can't reset it without the third one. Exactly. We hoped that with enough understanding of the monoliths, we could attach our own tech to it, correct it somehow. But progress is slow. Too slow. Mithrava and the Sages, tell me more about that. We don't know much. They limit their interactions with everyone else. Even when they need to trade, they say very little. Kiren's probably ashamed I even brought them up. It's just that I once heard... Stars, you'll mock me. Most stories start from a grain of truth. When I was small, I overheard a story the sages tell of a man who lived through the scourge. The scourge shut down the monoliths on all planets. The vaults stopped working. But this man understood Remnant. They don't know how. And he did something. Okay. He's the reason the vault and the two monoliths worked for as long as they did. <clears throat> and if the tale's true... Maybe they know the location of the third monolith. Yes. We can speak more later. I'll be here. Okay, Turians, here we go. Uh, there's a the pad, minerals. It's that way, so first we'll go that way. Support from cat attacks. All of them. Old man Lourge. What's he doing here? What? Is everything all right? You seem distressed. Uh, would you like a reward for that astute observation? <sighs> You're that Ain visitor that came to Aya asking about our vault. You've heard of me. Who hasn't? When strange new species turn up, reports spread fast. After the Ket, can't be too careful. Luge Anson, historian with the repository of history, Aya. Listen, if there's nothing you need, could you go away? Why did you come here from Aya? Kieran's team found some remnant relics while digging around the old ruins. I was sent to collect them for the repository. It shouldn't have taken more than a day. But things never go according to schedule, do they? You don't seem to like Havarl very much. Havarl's other regions suit me just fine. But here... Oh no. I don't do well in this fierce wilderness. <coughs> You think these shelters keep you safe? They don't. Woke up this morning and found a thorny vine wormed its way into my bunk. I'm stranded here because a branch pierced my shuttle's power core. You mentioned remnant ruins. Are there lots of remnant here? Yes. If you've been out in the jungle, you might have seen some of it. We think the ruins were part of a vast remnant complex. We've seen evidence of hallways that wound through the area, both above and below the ground. Generations ago, our people took shelter in what we found here. That's how Palef was established. Were there no hostile remnant machines? None, according to the histories. We found artifacts, of course. Bits of things that we could study. But they say it was like moving into an empty home. I won't bother you further. Very well. Watch out for plants while you're out there. Vicious things. Okay. Plants are vicious. Okay. Thank you. 
Excuse me. Enemies! I've detected multiple life forms in the area. Their movements appear agitated. I think we stirred up a nest. Damaged. Let's see if we can recover anything from it. Pathfinder, the computer's data core is damaged beyond repair. Rochelle, it's Ryder. We're inside your old home, but your research data didn't survive. All your effort and risk for nothing. I'm sorry. The risk was worth it. You just got unlucky. Years of my life gone. You didn't have backups? Of course, but they went down with the city's network memory center. That site is now buried underground. Even if you could find an access point on the surface, the odds of recovering anything are remote. All I heard is, there's a chance. Let's go for it. That didn't fully translate, but I know optimism when I hear it. I can point you in the general direction of where the network memory center used to be. You'll have to hunt for an exposed network node. I'll stand by. Thank you, Pathfinder. Right. First thing first. Dreams. It's on the way. Like this used to be a path. I think we're done. I agree. Pathfinder, I've detected energy readings consistent with an active network node. Is it on the surface? We'll find out. Network connection is established. I'm logging in. I could provide analysis Searching. via the scanner, I found Pathfinder. Them. Research files downloading and done. You did it. We did it. Go team. If we recovered this data, we may be able to access everything lost in the disaster. I'll alert my colleagues. You've accomplished something amazing, Pathfinder. Eight <laughs> percent better than more percent. Right. They are right. 
here, so I need to go straight on and down. Let's go that way. Kieran Dahl said something about fish and gems to me. What was that all about? In an ocean of fish, one will have gems in its mouth. Meaning, your success with Remnant is probability, not skill. As the number of cases approaches infinity, the unlikeliest outcomes become likely. Oh, thought it might have been something like that. Tannis uniforms of my nerve. No! Trying to get to some shelter and they kill me. from eight. Central Wilds. Oh. Here in Dallas, it's something. 
about fish and gems to me? What was that all about? In an ocean of fish, one will have gems in its mouth. Meaning your success with Remnant is probability, not skill. As the number of cases approaches in field, the unlikeliest outcomes become likely. Oh, thought it might have been something like that. Right, I've had enough of this. Here in Dahl said something about fish and gems to me. What was that all about? In an ocean of fish, one would have gems in its mouth. Meaning, your success with Remnant is probability, not skill. As the number of cases approaches infinity, the unlikeliest outcomes become likely. Oh, thought it might have been something like that. On to the next nearest one, which is this one. <laughs> Structures go deep below the ground. Stay alert. We don't know what's down there. If those floaty remnant bots try to push us off the edge, I'll be mad. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station.
straight down. Well, the day across, not down. That way you didn't wait. Get it. Time was a charm, not time. Nice work.
another eidetic trigger, Sam? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. Hello, my friend. Shot to the gut. Painful. I appreciate the help back there. Name's Avidus Ricks. Sorry if my methods seem extreme. Civilian life is... trying. Ryder, human pathfinder. You former military? A specter. Special tactics and reconnaissance. Did the Council's dirty work for 15 years. So you're used to being above the law. Well, good thing there are no laws in Andromeda, huh? The initiative was my retirement plan. Then Natanus hit the scourge and bam, woke up here. What happened? Where's the Ark? No idea. Had to break out of my own damn stasis pod. A fall like that should have killed you. Now, those pods are sturdier than they look. <laughs> but most of the Turian population is still missing. Including Mason, our Pathfinder. Sam hasn't transferred to me, so he's alive. Just don't know where. He hasn't made it back to the Nexus. Knowing Mason, he's out there looking for me. Mason dedicated his life to Andromeda. He's too stubborn to die now. We need every Pathfinder we can get. The debris and stasis pods from the Tannis are scattered across the sector. Between the two of us, we should find something. You go left, I go right. <laughs> Something like that. Here's my frequency. Call when you find something. Yay! Here we I can't believe this is really happening. Thought we'd be stuck here forever, or until the aliens killed us. We built this camp from what remained of our stasis pod. If we leave, we can't abandon our wreckage. There's debris we couldn't get to out there. We have to take it with us. Anything from the crash belongs to the Initiative. It'll go back to the Nexus with you. Good. No telling what's still intact. Don't want hostile aliens using it against us. If you find anything from Ark Natanis, tag it for recovery. Oh, and thank you. You're welcome. Pathfinder. Do the Rokar attack often? Only when they find us. Bad as they are, damn plants are the bigger danger. I keep telling the others not to eat anything raw, but... Are you and Mason close? We know each other well, yes. Did I say something wrong? No, sorry. Uh, I'm just not used to discussing my personal life. <laughs> You must have some great stories from your Spectre days. <laughs> Not that I can tell. That's kind of the point of classified ops. Surely you can bend the rules after 600 years. Bending the rules? Man, that's what I thought being a Spectre was all about. <laughs> Saren Arterius himself recommended me to the Council. Wow. Whatever their command, I carried it out without question. Saren? The rogue specter who led the Geth attack on the Citadel? If you believe the rumors, the Saren I knew was ruthless. Not crazy. But something made him snap. Everyone has a breaking point. I got out before I hit mine. Mason convinced me Andromeda was my chance to live outside the shadows. That's why I'm here. How are the other survivors holding up? They're in shock. Too busy surviving to grieve or take stock of what's happened. But when things eventually do calm down, it'll hit them. And it won't be pretty. Take care, Avatus. Likewise, Ryder. This is well making this little town.
again Much of a million animals. Reloading. Trying to reload. Make sure killing. not to eat anything here. Or let any sap stick on your skin. Wasn't planning on it. Natalis debris, tagged for salvage. Arc Natalis debris, tagged for salvage. Arc Natalis debris, tagged for salvage. Nearly all of them. Arc Natalis debris, tagged for salvage. Mr. Free, tagged for salvage. 
Ben, Ben, Ben. Do nicely. Arc Natalis debris tagged for salvage. Well, about this place, I'll just buy all my slightly so you can get better stuff. Not worth it if it's not going to give me max health. That sounds big. That 
was way too close. Oh, Ben, I couldn't move. This must be the crash site Avela mentioned. Mark the Tannis debris, tagged for some. Take past this wall.
Oh hell! Oh my god, the health and field. Readings indicate Walterian wreckage on the ball has been found. Good. Tell our salvage teams to get busy removing them. Oh, well, I'm over here to find the entrance. Like this is our only way in. It's not on, Ryder. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. So it's around here. Wrong way, but what I remember, it's worth it. did last time. Let's give this a try. Bye. 
No one's afraid of heights, are they? <laughs> only in real life. That's uh, only in real life. of our past are kept hidden, they may as well not exist at all. So pretty. Yeah, we did that. Yeah, I don't want to go off the end of that cliff, thank you.
Look at that. Is that possible? An alien? I am Ryder, Pathfinder with the Andromeda Initiative, from the Milky Way Galaxy. That does not explain how or why you are able to operate the remnant doors. It doesn't matter. You must leave. We do not entertain guests here. Havarl's in decline. If you tell me about the lost monolith, I can help fix it. Reset the vault. With Ryder's help, Havar could be healed. Our birthplace restored. Isn't that worth something? It's lost. The memories of its location haven't been reclaimed. On this lava, we have accepted Havar's eventual ruin. You're just giving up on your planet? Isn't this your birthplace? Don't you want to save it? A chasm separates want from can. What you ask... No one can give. The memory of the monolith resides within a thread that slipped from our grasp. I'm not sure I follow. We believe in reincarnation. An unbroken thread. There was one, long ago, who had knowledge of the third monolith. Zorai, a champion of the Angara from before the Scourge. Zorai's soul has returned and could be made to remember what it knew. But we have no contact with it. So you're saying there's some way we can make people remember their past lives? Souls retain within families. An object heirloom tied closely to that bloodline could cause memories to resurface. But it's not guaranteed. It has been known to happen on rare occasions in the past with other souls. The only known heirloom of Zarai's family rests in an area with active remnant. No one has survived the journey. But perhaps you, Zorai's soul, was reborn in Tavos, who is now a Roka. He recently returned to Haval on a mission. A Roka? Hmm. That'll be difficult. That's why you're here, Joel. They won't like that I'm helping you. This may be a dead end, but we have to try. I will send you the relevant coordinates. We considered Haval a lost cause. But perhaps now? There is hope. 
Excuse me. Another eidetic trigger, Sam? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnood on the Hyperion to investigate further. As death nears, it's harder to face the possibility that I might never see Amara again. Sorry to interrupt, but what's happened? Ahmad is ill. He hasn't got much time left. Ahmad, perhaps this stranger can help. If they've been to Palev, maybe they've seen something. I came from Palev, actually. The little research station? Research station? It used to be a large settlement. A dar. Amara moved them when she left Mithrava. Palav was overtaken by the jungle, remember? A few cycles ago, everyone left. Oh, yes. I, I remember now. But that means Amara's gone. There might still be a way to track her down. All Dara keep records, don't they? If there was an organized evacuation, they would have documented the process. And the records would state where she went. Uh, Pala, that's genius. Where would they keep those records? Likely some kind of administrative building. If it still stands, and the machines still work, it's a slim hope. I don't want to impose, stranger, but I would welcome any news of my sister. That looks so cool. wander around with no supervision? You're interrupting our lesson. Could use more interruptions. Sorry, I didn't mean to get in your way. And yet you're still here. As I was saying, the propulsion system that took Bashal to the skies was inspired by four remnant pieces. And that's just one. Much of our progress was prompted by the discovery of remnant artifacts. Where are these artifacts you're talking about? The few that still exist reside in Aya's repository. However, many have been lost. Though there are rumors that as wilds grow wilder, things long buried may be unearthed. It might be wise to study whatever we find. Something out there might give us an edge against the Ket. You believe Vangara learned crucial scientific ideas from the Remnant? It is not just belief, it is a matter of record. Some artifacts were even left in unfinished states, likely to demonstrate how they were put mm. together. I think I'll leave you to your lesson. About time. Charming.
All right, guys, we're going to call it a day here, so I will be online a little bit later on. Thank you for those who watch, and I hope to see you again soon.